Hey everybody. Have a look at what we have here today. This is a Bestech HX 312V power supply pulled out of a recent, recently acquired E-Machines computer. Has some back capacitors. Hopefully just one. Hopefully not more than one. That's what I really meant to say. I could tell already that there was a back cap inside this thing. Because um, when you plug it in it makes a very um, angry sounding whistling sound. And I took a glance inside and saw a, um, saw a bulging TPO capacitor in the 5 volt standby circuit right next to the secondary heat sink. So I said hopefully it's just that one. But we're going to have a look inside today and see if there's any more. That nah, failed. I mentioned in that video of the, um, those computers that um, you don't generally see these particular power supplies here fail. The two, the um, 312Es are usually pretty reliable. The 250 12E, however, is the one that's the mother will killer. Don't get this confused between the previous one. When we have it open, I'll explain why. Basically, this one does not have a two transistor 5 volt standby circuit. It has the same kind of standby circuit as the 12Z Best Tech units have. The ones that are commonly used in HP computers. It has an IC style 5 volt standby controller circuit. Regulates the 5 volt standby and also has protections like short circuit protection and over voltage protection, probably under voltage too. Go ahead and pull the cover off. And let's see here. Now to be honest with you, um, the older Bass Techs, with the exception of the 25012E, seem to be a bit more reliable than the newer ones. Because Best Tech, for some reason, has switched to TPO for, um, you know, their capacitor choice. Yeah, TPO and Capzon. They used to use Jamicon, and Jamicons were slightly more reliable. You didn't see those fail as near as much. But the um, TPOs and Capzons, a uh, different story. The primary Capzons, they've, they've been using those for many years. And those are actually decent quality caps. I mean, you're, you rarely ever see those fail, and they actually put out what they're rated for. I mean, uh, in regards to the capacity, around, I say, 460 to 490 microfarads, if that's what I've actually measured them at. You want to see a look inside the power supply? Everything on the secondary side looks good, from what I see. I think I got this glue here. Kind of hard to see. Hopefully, we don't have another bulging cap there, but I'm trying to see. Um, can't really tell if it's bulging or not. Looks like it might be bulging just a little bit. I'm trying to see what kind of capacitor that is. Or better yet, see what the ratings are. Definitely a TPO. And it's like it's starting to bulge a little bit. Then again, I don't really know for sure. I may just I may just leave it and not worry about it. But this one over here is definitely failing. And to be honest with you, um yeah, I had meant I previously mentioned that the 312E units were a lot more reliable because it seemed like Best Tech either used OST, Chemicon, or Jamicon in most of those units. Not to mention these particular units, the fan speed controller is a bit more aggressive. It actually speeds the fan up a little faster than on the um, 12Z model. So it does look like i got to replace one. And one thing I like about these particular Best Tech supplies and the um, Hypro 300 watt units, in a clamshell style case. I don't even have to remove the PCB just to re replace those bad caps. Very nice thing to know. So yep, looks like it's just one I gotta replace. And what I guess what I'll do is I'll replace it, put this bad boy back together and plug it in and see if it sounds angry again. It shouldn't after this one cap is replaced. Trust me guys, I've been recapping Best Tech Supplies for 
years and it's you and, and usually in these units you know with the IC 5 volt standby it's usually this cap here that causes most of your problems that actually stop the power supply from working I have actually had a couple of instances where you know, I think one or two instances where a cap over here dead shorted and it was every time you try to turn the power supply on it kicked the short circuit protection and things shut off but like I mentioned I was going to prove to you that this power supply does not have two transistor um, 5 volt standby circuitry. If you have a look here at the primary heat sink you only see one transistor here. I believe this is what's called a single transistor 4 design not the old dated half bridge but there's no um, smaller transistor right there that's because it does not have the two transistor design I think the IC to the left there next to the 5 volt standby transformer would be your 5 volt standby IC I can't really tell for sure. I'd have to look up the data sheet to find out to be 100% sure, but one of those two is definitely for 5 volt standby. You know, I've, I've made videos about this before. Um, the HX312E is safe to use, along with the 12Z models of best tech supplies. The only one you got to worry about is the 25012E. You know, I must say, this here is, you know, a slightly upgraded variant of the 25012E. They of course fix the 5 volt standby that was our biggest concern there and you know they've they've beat up some things in here to make it capable of doing 300 watts so it's a little bit more beefy and just to give you an idea just how easily these best techs can be upgraded many people on bad caps have talked about this they include separate holes you know for adding in additional components like let's say on the secondary rectification stage you could add another, you know, matching rectifier to, you know, said rail and run it with the existing one in parallel to give it more um, amperage capacity. So, anyways, I'll go ahead and replace that bad capacitor and we'll see how this thing runs. Hopefully, it runs and <laughs> doesn't sound angry anymore when you plug it in.